so what is up guys this is Daniel here and welcome back to my channel in today's video um, it is a, we are doing a Genshin related topic and some theory crafting so in today's video we'll be talking and theory crafting about the upcoming um, new character um, a five star character which is um, Lilo uh, a time limited character so um, for Nilo, she is uh, for me. Uh, her position in the team is normally a Hydra sub DPS or a support, according from uh, what I saw on her kit and story crafted. So, uh, Nilo is a Hydra sword. Uh, I made conclusions here. So this like a slight analysis on her. So, uh, she is the second half banner of version 3.1 and a limited 5 star mission. So, Nilo is a Hydro Sword character and she ascends with HP up to 28.8%. And also, uh, she scales on HP. Yeah, she is a character that mainly scales on HP, which means she is similar to Yelan. She doesn't need any attack. Yeah, she doesn't need any attack percent. So, Nilo, Nilo, uh, I mean Nilo's mode, like her most important kit, um, is surrounding on her elemental skill as well as her elemental burst. So I written here like this to them, this to like this means that like uh, you can completely um ignore her basic attack unless you really really like her, um, you just sim for her, you can go triple crown, like I don't mind. I don't care like it's your choice at all but for my recommendation um you can leave the basic attack aside since like it is not really the main part of the kit so you can leave it aside and so you can save up more materials for the elemental scale elemental burst. so from what i read um her elemental skill technically has two states so um she will do three hits when you use elemental skill so the first and second hit are just normal and uh, like nothing special. But once the elemental skill enters the third hit, she enters like um, she technically enters a state. So if she uh, she hits sword dance, uh you will get the Luna Prey effect. And she will also and uh like do whirling steps which causes the tranquility aura. So what does Luna Prey effect do? Um Luna Prey effect converts Nilo's attack. To sort done techniques, um, yeah, hydro, not basic attack, and has its own elemental skill scaling. So this means that um, her damage in this state, uh, I assume, assuming it will be considered as elemental skill scaling, like Ayato and Child, or something like Raiden's ulti, like they have an individual scaling which are not affected by her basic attack scaling or something like Sino LT. So and the last hit releases a luminous illusion. So about this luminous illusion I was not so sure like all I saw was like an explosion and doing some damage. So tranquility aura this is the most important part I would like to mention. So what what does tranquility aura do? Um like it has a 12 second uh like a 12 second water ring like creates water ring that follows active character for the states and applies the status to open and remove the ring. So this thing is just like uh you can assume it as a Barbara uh Barbara skill or a Kokomi jellyfish. So um but it follows you around and applies where status to open and remove. So um, this thing is apply like applying AOE hydro status to an enemy, like off field, like according to Nilos. And I, if I'm not wrong, I assume like, um, there's a way she can keep this uh water ring like up for very very long time or infinite cycle this. So about her elemental burst, so uh. Um, I mentioned here, um, her elemental burst is just a one-shot burst, like something like Mona, or, uh, I mean, 
Mona is the most relatable one, but hers is just like plain plain damage. Like there's no buffs like Mona. Like Mona, when you apply and you like enemy receive Omen, which they take more damage, which causes Mona to like give damage buff. So Nilo doesn't have all those um complicated like mechanics. So her elemental burst is like very simple and straightforward. Like uh yeah, there are two states of damage. So one is when you apply, there will be one phase of damage. And when you um they will automatically burst after an interval and dealing the second phase of damage. So I personally saw on the um beta scaling which the scaling is actually quite insane as all of these skills i mentioned just now all of them literally scale on hp percent and they are not affected by attack percent so means that she is even easier to build as the only thing you need is hp percent on her so after talking about her skill and burst and attack so the next thing i like to mention is her Passive Ascension Talent So there are two Passive Ascension Talent As I typed here like There are one at level 20 Ascendant And another one at level 60 Ascendant So First Passive Ascension Talent um, Which is level 20 Ascendant We have Court of Dancing Petals So what does this thing do? Um, In order to trigger this talent Okay um, all characters in your team are only able to be all dendro or hydro. Means you can't put um pyro, cryo, geo, anymore. You can't put all those. When when Nilo team like when you want to trigger this passive talent, you must put only dendro or hydro. And there are at least one dendro character and one hydro character. You can't put anything else. So this causes her like the only way she can play is Bloom Reaction, which is recently introduced um by Sumeru the Dendro Element. So it's this Dendro plus Hydro, you get a Dendro seed and you bloom. Yeah. So it says when all characters in the party are all dendro or hydro, and there are at least one dendro character and one hydro character. Yeah. So if you meet this requirement, the third dance move of the elemental skill will grant all characters in the party the golden chalices bounty for 30 seconds, okay? So what does the golden chalices bounty do? So the golden chalices bounty um characters affected under this will have their EM increased by 100 when they are hit by dendro attacks. Um, they didn't specific like dendro attacks from enemy or like or yourself. So I I I have written here like including bloom reaction. So like um when you know dendro dendro sleets bloom, um they also deal some decent amount of dendro damage to you. So uh I assume like you can use your own bloom reaction to trigger this passive here. And also, Bloom Reactions creates bountiful cores instead of dendro cores. So, you normally see like those green cores on the ground, like those normal dendro cores. Yeah, but for Nilo, um, instead of creating normal dendro cores due to this passive, the existence of this passive, her Bloom Reaction creates bountiful cores. Um, yeah, instead of dendro cores. So, bountiful cores they are unable to trigger hyper bloom or means they can't react with electro or pyro which um, makes sense as your the team only has hydro and dendro yeah so bountiful cores are unable to trigger hyper bloom or bridging and it shares the same upper numerical limit with dendro cores means they only exist up to a certain limit on field and when you exist that limit the previous um dendro cores i mean Bountiful cores will just explode on the spot. So the damage is considered as dendro cores produced by Bloom. And bountiful cores, uh, I forget to type here. So bountiful cores, they actually explode faster compared to dendro cores. 
Yeah. So let's go to the second ascension talent. So dreamy dance of aeons. So every it says every one thousand points of Nilo's max HP above thirty k. Uh, which is will cause damage dealt by bountiful cause created by characters affected by the GCV which is the golden chalices multi increased by 9% so maximum increase achieved in this way is actually 400% which is actually a lot like extreme extremely uh, <laughs> it's like I, I don't even know how, how, how the players hit this perhaps like Perhaps like some CQR5 triple HP and tenacity or whatever. <laughs> so means uh the more HP she stacks, the damage dealt by the bountiful cost will be higher, okay? And also her passive talents that you get when she comes uh with her is the white jade lotus. So what this thing do is perfect cooking have twelve percent chance to obtain double product. Like Barbara, Diona, Jean, and all those, yeah. So this is pretty much um all I anal analyze about Nilo and theory crafted uh with my some of my friends. So um according to what we saw here, Nilo's team is more to like AOE um more like an AOE friend um. Like to maximize the kit of Nilo, but um, so this means that if you are facing a single target enemy, you might face some difficulties if you are using Nilo. And Nilo can only play Bloom, as I mentioned here, when all characters in the party are all Dendro or Hydro, and there are at least one Dendro character and one Hydro character. So due to the restriction of this talent. She is forced to play Bloom and only Bloom and only HP, yeah, only HP stats and Bloom, nothing else. So, for the current um, Nilo team, uh, current Nilo team, so for the current Nilo team, we have Nilo, and since, since, uh, she 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 have a really huge restriction which is dendro and hydro only so um nilo is a must since she's the um, um main character of this stage so we have nilo and um you may probably want a dendro character so for dendro character now we have traveler or we can have Kole, um, which you get for free if you pass for 4 of Abyss, or you can get free from the event started in 3.0. Or um, you can have Tinari. Yeah, Tinari is the new five, Dendro 5-star. Five the first Dendro 5-star, to be honest, besides Traveler. Um, and he is now in the Standard Banner too. So for those who lucky got him, you may consider putting him in here also. At, or you can get a Nahida, which is actually the Dendro Archon, uh, coming in, coming in two point two. So, and since uh we have one Dendro, I mean we have one Hydro and one Dendro, uh, there's actually two Dendro here. Like depends on which character you have since you can get double resonance like the dendro resonance as well as the hydro resonance so there's one hydro here and there's like two dendro here so you might want to put in another hydro character so um i previously said here like characters attack like uh when they're hit by dendro attacks so um let me mention again that Bloom Reaction are uh, like damage from the Dendro Seeds or Dendro Cores. They will actually damage your own character. But instead of damaging, um, like dealing a huge amount of damage to like you did to your enemy, 
you will receive like a small portion of the damage but um overall like as time goes on you will just become really serious so therefore another hydro character i like to recommend is either you can put barbara um, for more budget of free to play players or you can put a kokomi uh, sang sango no miya Yeah, this is pretty um, pretty much as a uh, healer is really really um important. I just say if you are playing like a really on a really long like long time team, a healer is definitely necessary to like heal up your HP. So this is um an an approximate of my opinion on how Nilo's team formation is made. Or if you are there enough, you can also put Sinshu or Yelan. Yeah. To like off you apply more hydro if you don't think it's not enough. So this is my technically my opinion on how Nilo is. And um my advice is for Nilo, I actually don't really recommend you all to draw for Nilo or pull for her. As she actually is a really expensive character to play and build for. Therefore, yeah, uh, for those, unless you really, really, really like Nilo, or you really don't have any other hydro characters, like you don't have, you don't have Singshu, you don't have Tartaglia, which is Chalk. You don't have Kamisato Ayaka, you don't have Yelan, you don't have Sango no Miya Kokomi, then I think you can slightly consider Nilo. And for those who are more to meta based or to character strengths, I strongly recommend you not to draw for Nilo. As Nilo is not really, um, like, for current situations, it's not really team friendly and she's not that nice to build. So I will recommend you all, like for those who are not drawing, uh, for Nilo, you can say for version 3.2, as there are confirmed news that Nahida, which is the Dendro Archon, will be releasing in version 3.2, and she is a really, really strong support, which I will do a short analysis and some theory crafting on her in the next video. So for those who are drawing for Nilo, I will wish you all good luck. And I wish all Nilo wanters will become Nilo havers. So that's all for my video today. My name is Faye, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.